since the day you came into my life. You made me realize that we were born to fly. You showed me every day new possibilities. You proved my fantasy.
suitable for him. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man, and the man said, This is now bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. For this reason a man will leave his father and his mother and will cleave to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. A wife of noble character who can find. Her worth is far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings good, not harm, to him all the days of his life. A marriage has always been a joyous occasion. And Canaan of Galilee was gladdened by the presence and the blessings of the Lord Jesus himself. Because God intended marriage to bring blessing and joy to your lives, let us invoke his presence as you make your covenant between each other and these guests. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this grand and glorious day. We thank you, Lord God, for these two individuals, Lord God, who have decided, Lord God, to pledge their life to each other and to become one. We ask, God, for your presence to be in this place and that you would have your way. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Patrick, the scripture says to the husband, husband loves your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for it to make her holy cleansing her by the washing with water through the word and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. In the same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. And Andrea, the scripture says to the wife, wives submit to your husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church, his body, of which he is the savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything. And to you both, scripture says, submit one to another out of reverence for Christ. Marriage was instituted by God himself and he performed the first marriage. When a man and a woman have chosen each other and have come to that moment when they sincerely and publicly join in covenant for life, they lay down on the altar a holy sacrifice to God, to each other and to humanity. The union into which you are now about to enter is the closest and most tender that you can get as human beings. It is a union founded upon mutual experience, affection, and the believers in the Lord Jesus. It is the union in the Lord. Marriage is God's institution, intended for the happiness and welfare of humankind. The scripture further says, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. A union and binding such ideal is not to be entered into lightly or unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, soberly, and in the fear of God. Into such a union you come now to be joined. Who gives DeAndre Johnson? We do. All right. Amen. Y'all well, already joined in hands, so we know Y'all already, <laughs> already, already got it. All right, so right now, y'all have said that y'all wanted to say y'all vows to each other. Patrick? Mm-hmm. 
Alright. A little nervous, y'all. Yeah, so. You good, you good. Hello. Can you hear me? Cut it on. Alright. 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 <clears throat> From the first day I met you, I knew that you were a special woman, even though I had no idea it would lead to this day. <clears throat> I have never met a woman that loves me as much as I love myself. The only one that loves me knows I love me some me. <clears throat> you are the most caring, thoughtful, and genuine woman I've ever met. The way you look out for me, <clears throat> better than myself sometimes, really helps me deal with the stresses of life. The way you light up when I enter a room reassures me every time of how much you love me. You show it every single day, <clears throat> and I have never doubted, not one second, in your loyalty to me or our family. Our personalities balance our relationship perfectly. I could never put into words how much you mean to me and how much I love you. My only regret is that my mom never got to meet you, meet you because she would have loved you. <clears throat> I can only imagine you two ganging up on me. I would never stand a chance. You know how important my mom <clears throat> was to me. And I can say with confidence that she would have welcomed you with open arms and heart in the only a way that she could express, making you feel un unconditionally loved. <clears throat> Knowing this gives me a sense of peace and happiness and a feeling <clears throat> that she is here with us today. <clears throat> to make a vow <clears throat> mean, <clears throat> I'm sorry, to make a vow to someone means that you are making a concrete promise to do a specific thing. Being a man of principles who has always tried to live my life by a certain code and standard, I take making a vow to the woman I love very seriously. So these promises that I make to you here today, I vow to never break. I promise to always be a provider for you and our family. I promise to always value your input and opinions. I promise to lead beside you, not in front or behind you. I promise to always be the man that I see now in your eyes, today, tomorrow, and forever. I promise to protect you from any harm that comes your way and to look to you if I ever need protection. I pledge to listen to your advice and occasionally take it. <laughs> promise to never keep score, even when I'm winning, which is a lie. <laughs> because we are on the same team. I promise to love and care for you, and I will try every day to be worthy of your love. I will always be honest with you, kind, patient, and forgiving. I will never ask you to change anything about yourself. You are perfectly tailor-made for me. I promise to celebrate and enjoy the good times with you and be your shoulder to lean on and cry on during the bad times. I've lived long enough to know that life and marriage comes with ups and downs. And I promise to contribute to the ups more than the downs. I promise to be the calm in the midst of any storm we may go through. I promise to raise and care for Elijah with the same love and care that I raised DeAndre with, instilling in him how to grow into a real man, equipped with all the morals and values that I've learned throughout my life and lived my life by. I am so happy that he accepted me into his life and will forever love him unconditionally. with you and 
build with you a better life each day. To believe in your goals and dreams and to build my dreams around you. I promise you my unconditional love, tenderness, and undying devotion. And to never ask you to be more than what you are, which is more than any man could ask for. I promise to love you and be there for you in sickness and health, in good and bad times, and whether you cook that day or not. <laughs> I could go on and on making promises to you because you are truly worthy of them all. But I'd rather spend my life showing you instead. The more and more I thought about my vows, the more I started to realize and see these vows, not as promises, but as privileges. I have the honor of laughing with you, as well as crying with you sometimes. Sometimes I don't cry. Caring for you and sharing with you building with you and living with you. You know me better and more intimately than anyone in this world. And somehow you still manage to love me. In your eyes, I have found my own. In your heart, I have found my love. In your soul, I have found my mate. From here on out, it's you and me against the world. And I like our odds. I'm your ride or die forever. With you by my side, I will never feel alone on this journey called life. Hand in hand, I feel like we can take on any obstacle. I love you, man. so long, and God knew exactly what I needed. He knew more than I knew, as he always does. God took his time with each of us individually and crafted us perfectly for one another. And he allowed us to go through things and to have things that weren't meant for us. Now that we are together, we know exactly how to take care of one another, and together we are perfectly imperfect. We shine bright alone, but shine so much brighter together. You are my irreplaceable treasure. My heart belongs to you. I love you on purpose, and I will choose to love you every day. Today I stand here with you before our family and friends, with great pride, ready to make one of the single most important decisions of my life. And my heart and eyes are wide open. And I will say I do for what seems like a thousand reasons because you are my absolute person of choice that I want to spend my life with. And with you by my side, I know that I can do anything. You will not just be my husband, you will be my everything, because you are my joy, my peace, my comfort, my home, and my safe place. Your love is constant. It's beautiful yet fierce and pure. The way that you love me is beautiful. And it shows our boys what love and respect is. Your patience is beyond amazing. And I wish that I had half of it, and I don't. You love me just as I come, just as I am. And you acknowledge my strengths and accept my faults. But you still challenge me to be and do better. And you make me want to be better. I promise to always love you for exactly who God created you to be. For the man that you are right now in this moment, and for the man that you've yet to become. And I promise that you can always be your authentic self with me. I promise to always encourage you and help nurture your goals and ambitions, and I will be your loudest cheerleader. I promise to love you faithfully and intentionally through every stage of you. And I promise to love you through all the highs and lows that we may go through. I promise to always contribute to making our marriage full, full of love, respect, and openness, full of compassion and honesty, full, un full of understanding and forgiveness, because you are so worth it. 
You are worth me committing to and giving my very best. You are worth me being selfless. You are worth any compromises that I may have to make. I adore you, and I promise that when you fall, I'll be there to pick you up. I promise to love you through any sickness and in good health, and I promise to cherish you through all of life's adventures and follow you confidently without hesitation. Thank you for always making me know that I'm more than enough. And thank you for trusting me to be your wife. It's truly an honor. I love you beyond any measure. And when we are old, gray, and grumpy, I promise to see you then with the same eyes and heart that I see now. I will keep all of these promises to you until the day that I die, and I will take my last breath loving you. As a token of the covenant, you will now give and receive the marriage rings. The emblem of eternity, meaning it's constant. And your love must be constant. Your love must be pure. Your love must be true. The emblem of that which will never tarnish, it will never fade. It would only shine each and every day of your life. With these emblems of purity and endless devotion, you each the other wed. Jesus, I thank you right now for these two. Father God, for the vows that they have committed one to the other. I thank you, Lord God, for the commitment that they would make not only to themselves, Father God, but to you. I pray, God, that you would bind them together. Lord God, have your way in their marriage. Have your way, Lord God, when the seasons are great, when the seasons are dark. Father God, let them hold true to each other. Let, let their love never fade, but let it always be true. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And thanks we give. Amen. 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 Your marriage today may represent the beginning of a new life together as one. But it is important to remember that this beginning is not simply a clean slate. Both of you bring to this marriage years of lived experiences that have made you the people standing here today and will continue to influence your lives in your marriage. Yet our free will allows us to grow and reconceive who we are as a person throughout our lives. As you empty your personal vessel of sand into the middle vessel, consider how your life experiences have impacted your relationship with each other and also how together, united through marriage, you will continue to redefine the person you are as you navigate through life with a teammate at your side. Patrick and Deandrea, please now pour the sand from your respected vessels into the center vessel combining your two lives into one. Just as the individual grains of sand mixed together become forever intertwined, so becomes your lives through your union. All right. Where that broom at? Oh, oh the kids. We end this ceremony with the African-American tradition of jumping a broom. 
As our bride and groom jump, they physically and spiritually cross the threshold into the land of matrimony. Today represents great joy, and at the same time, it serves as a reminder of the past. The leap that they take together of the broom is a gesture that make a dedication to working together through the tough times ahead, as well as the easy times. They leave behind the past and jump into the future together, securing their love. Patrick and Deandra will now begin their new life together with a clean sweep. All right, go ahead. <laughs> For as much as Patrick and Deandra have consented together in holy matrimony and have witnessed the same before God in this company, and thereunto have given their pledge each to each other and have declared the same by giving and receiving rings and by joining hands, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs> I have the distinct honor to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Patrick Johnson. love in you and I've learned to love me too never have I felt that I could be all that you see it's like our hearts have intertwined into the perfect harmony This is why I love you Ooh, this is why I love you Because you love me You love me This is why I love you Ooh, this is why I love you Because you love me I found love in you And no other love will do Every moment that you smile Chases all the pain away Forever and a while in my heart is where you'll stay This is why I love you Ooh, this is why I love you Because you love me Uh, wedding party, I know y'all can hear me I need some energy Cause this is how it starts off Alright, so let's give it up ladies and gentlemen For your grooming Come on fellas, give it up for your groomsmen
All right, ladies, let's see what you can do, ladies. Coming in now, let's give it up for your... No matter what the Let's give it up for your bridesmaids. We're gonna get this thing hype right, right now. I look coming in right now. And we have Linda and Patrick Johnson.
Stones are special dances on this one. We can't, we can't talk to God and y'all talking to each other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. First off, we really appreciate y'all coming in and everything. And uh, excuse my rudeness, but I was just trying to get y'all attention. What I would like to do is, first, what I would like, I would request that all of you stand on your feet and let's give the Lord a standing ovation. And after that, would you continue to stand? strengthen them in their union. This is a beautiful thing that they have came together to do and we thank you for it so much. Oh, precious Father, thank you and we ask all of these blessings. We want to thank you for the school we're about to receive and we say thank you and we ask it all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.
you put it in your beer? Oh, okay. you put it in.
coming straight from the heart. DeAndrea is truly a pure, kind-hearted, caring, everlasting soul, and such a beautiful person overall. I know she has found her perfect match. Being around DeAndrea and Pat, you can really tell how much they love each other. I'm so excited for this future to unfold because I know that they will do great things together. May you have a lifetime of love, laughter, and joy together. Cheers.
Congratulations, Didi and Pat. Congratulations, Didi and Pat. Pat, welcome to the family. I am so excited that you chose to love my cousin so, 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 so much. Congratulations. I just want to say congratulations to my beautiful sister. You finally did it. You're married. Man, I love you so much. Big blessings. Yes, sir. Hey. Congratulations, Andrea and Patrick Johnson. We are so proud of you for getting married at this beautiful castle. Now, we all have to know, how long have y'all been dating? But we, I know that it's six years. So, congratulations. Bye-bye. Congratulations, Didi, and that's all I have to say. To my lovely daughter, this has been one of the most uh, celebrated occasions that I have ever experienced because it's the first time that I have ever experienced anything like that. Being it, I only have one daughter, and I wish her all the best wishes and all the love and prosperity in the world, even in God's name, in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.